viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. Let us look at question 6. 6 elites. The first three terms of a geometric progression are 3w minus 2, 3w plus 6, and 3w plus 30. Find them. Loma numero 1, value of w. Loma numero 2, the nth term. Loma numero 3, the sum of the first four terms. So let us first deal with him. question A. Then we'll deal with question B, which asks for 2 marks. Question A is 7 marks. So, what can we use to find the value of W? We use the principle that the nth term of a geometric progression is given by A multiplied by R to the power N minus 1. What is R? R is the ratio of the progressive terms. So, R is given by T2 over T1, which should be the same as T3 over T2. Then we know that this is T1. You can use the right color. This is T1. Then this is T2. Then this is T3. So we're going to use this ratio to find R. Then by using this ratio, we can find the value of W because we're going to form a simultaneous equation or a simple equation where the two sides of the equation are the same. What this tells me is I have 3w plus 6 over 3w minus 2 must equal to 3w plus 13 over 3w plus 6. If you notice him, I've just replaced these terms. These terms. So you notice that this term and this term are identical, and this term are identical, hence these two are the same. Then at that point we just cross multiply. So we cross multiply these two by the law of division. This tells me that I'm going to have 3w plus 6 multiplied by 3w plus 6 must equal to 3w minus 2 multiply by 3w plus 30. What you notice is this is multiplied by that one and this multiplied by that one. Then at this point we just start expanding. So I'm going to have this one multiplied by that one which will give me 9w square. Then multiply by that which will give me plus 18w. Then next it will be now this one multiplied by that one which will give me 18w, then this one multiplied by that one which will give me 36, then equals, the next, it will be this one multiplied by that one which will give me 9w square, then this one multiplied by that which will give me plus 90w, then to be now this one multiplied by this one to give me minus 6w, then this one multiplied by that one which will give me minus 60, then just collect the like terms so it will be 9w square and this one so it will be minus w square then I simplify these two will give me 36 so that will be 36 I take it the other side it will be 90w minus 36w which is coming from the summation of these two okay then I'm going to have this minus this W, 6W. Then this is a negative. I'll take it to 36 so that it becomes a positive. So I'm going to have plus 36. Then plus this 60, it will be this. So from here, what you notice is this one and this one will give me zero. So this will be zero, like that one. Then I can simplify this one. Then I can uh, also add this one. So 36 plus 60, this should give me 96. So I'm going to have 96 equals, then 
I'm going to have 90 minus 36 which should give me 54 minus 6 which should give me 48 48 because even if I added these two it will give me 42 from 90 90 to give me 48 so this is 48 W then I divide by 48 I divide by 48 so I have 2 equals W so the value of W is 2 once you do this you are good to go you answer the first part of the question and you get the three marks then Roman number two the nth term so we need to find the nth term how can you find the nth term the first thing is we need to find them the values of each of these terms then you find the exact value of r then you also find the first term so what do we do we need to come here so this is Roman number two so we know what these are we are told w is 2 so it's going to be finding the first value which is t1 it will be 3w minus 2 which should be equal to 3 multiplied by 2 minus 2 which should give me 4 so I'll find the first value so I need to find the t2 so how can I find the t2 I come here I substitute so I just uh, 3 times 2 plus 6 so it will be 3w plus 6 which is equal to 3 times 2 plus 6 which is equal to 12 then it will be t3 which will be equal to 3w plus 13 which is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 plus 13 13 which is equal to 36 then I can go on to find out the value of r so r will be will be 12 which is like I said to be t2 over t1 which is equal to 12 divided by 4 which is equal to 3 that's r the same will be 36 divided by 12 it will still be 3 then based on that now we know r and we know the value of a the value of a in this equation tn is equal to a then r n minus 1 the value of a is the first term which is when n is equal to 1 so it's a 4 so it's equal to 4 multiplied by 3 to the power n minus 1 so this is the nth term once you do this you would have answered the Roman numeral 2 then we go to the sum of the first four terms the sum of the first four terms then remember we just found r to be 3 so r is greater than 1 so when r is greater than 1 you can find the formula even at the the first page of your question paper we use sum of n is equal to a then r n r to the power n minus 1 over r minus 1 because this is the case r is greater than 1 so for the first four terms is equal to a is a form remember we just from finding a to be the first term which is a form then we know r is a 3 so it will be 3 to the power 4 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 then to be 4 times 3 to the power 4 is 81 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 is a 2 so this is going to give me 4 then 18 divided by 2 which will give me 2 times in 8 which will give me 160 so 160 is the answer so once you can answer like this you are good to go you get another two marks so what is key is finding w if you can find w quickly then you are good to go okay let us answer question b let me just look at the green space so b is simple this question always come it's a, one of the simplest question so what is key here is using the law of division so we're going to obtain m over m square then n square then we multiply once we multiply we interchange this one this one goes up this one comes down so we're going to have 2m square n square over 5a to the power 3 like this then at this point we just now deal with this so this is the principle or the skill they are trying to assess you are you able to deal with 
um, fractions which are being divided. So when you're dividing, what happens? You introduce multiplication, then you swap the denominator and the numerator. So at this point, things become easier. 5 into 5 is a 1. 5 into 10 is a 2. A into A is a 1. A into A to the power 3 is A to the power 2. M into M. M into M square into M square is M. And this cancels. Then this one and this one cancels. So we are going to have 2 times 2, which is a 4. Over then this is 1 times A square is A square. So you see like this once you do this you are good to go and you get these two marks. So the trick part is converting the division divided by two multiplication and now start cancelling the powers. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Join me in the next episode as we look at question seven.